Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Dr Nick Nickam a cardiologist and I have been practicing cardiology at the Texas Medical Center for more than 30 plus years Let us learn what is coronary artery bypass surgery Before that I would like to tell you a story A surgeon was getting his car engine fixed the mechanic was talking to him and he asked the surgeon what kind of work do you do and the surgeon said I'm a heart surgeon. I work on heart. Heart is like a machine, you know, it pumps blood. And the mechanic said, you know, I work on the engines too. But how come you get paid 100 times more than what I get? And the surgeon said, you know, maybe you got a point there. But uh, have you ever tried to work on an engine that is running 3000 RPMs? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to coronary artery bypass surgery. What is coronary artery bypass surgery? What does it mean? what do the surgeon actually do during surgery all right here is a picture of a heart and these are the small arteries that supply the heart muscle the heart muscle gets its nourishment through these arteries this is known as the right coronary artery and here we have the left main coronary artery which divides into the left anterior descending branch and another one that wraps around the left side supplying the rest of the heart muscle whenever there is a blockage in a segment of an artery there is reduced blood supply to the heart muscle when multiple arteries are blocked patients come with chest pain after doing diagnostic tests such as nuclear stress test or uh, cardiac catheterization we can determine where the blockages are if the patient has multiple extensive blockages generally that patient is recommended coronary artery bypass surgery what is coronary artery bypass surgery simply during surgery the surgeon takes the long vein that is running along the leg and separates them into small segments one end of the short segment of the vein is attached to the aorta here as you can see the other end is attached to the artery beyond the blockage that is you are bypassing the blockage instead of the blood going through the narrowed artery now we have extra blood coming through this vein which is supplying the blood supply to the heart muscle beyond the area of the blockage similarly the other vessels are bypassed i'm sure you heard of the term single bypass double bypass triple bypass quadruple bypass quintuple bypass what do all these terms mean single means it's just a single bypass uh, in majority of the cases when it's a single bypass usually the artery running in the chest wall known as the lima is separated from the chest wall and the distal end of the artery is attached to the coronary artery beyond the blockage the good thing about the arteries coming from the chest wall is that they stay open for a much longer duration as compared to the vein grafts so they have a much better longevity and sometimes we can have an artery coming from the chest wall attached to one branch of the heart blood vessel then we can attach a vein graft from a different source uh, to another arterial blockage so here we have two blood vessels bypass and this is known as the double bypass similarly if there are three vessels that are blocked then you may see like three bypasses and this is known as the jump by bypass graft because the artery coming from the chest wall is only one source but it is divided into two branches by attaching a separate vein graft and that creates a, what's called a y graft or a jump graft so we have three vessels bypass and when multiple arteries are blocked in the heart circulation then the patient may end up getting four or even sometimes five bypasses uh, supplying the arterial segments beyond the blockages another important thing that happens uh, during surgery is uh, the heart is a sort of uh, brought to a state of rest uh, during this bypass procedure and this is accomplished by draining all the blood coming from the upper part of the body and from the lower part of the body using plastic tubes into a heart lung machine 
that heart lung machine receives this uh, deoxygenated blood and it oxygenates the blood so you can see the color change from purple to red and this oxygenated blood is brought into the aorta which supplies the blood to the rest of the body so during surgery even though the heart muscle may be resting the remaining body is getting adequate circulation and adequate blood pressure is maintained through the heart lung machine more recently people in fact have been doing bypass surgery on a beating heart using special techniques so the original story which i introduced that i'm a surgeon i work on a beating heart and that is in fact true and i talked about using the artery coming from the chest wall to do the bypass which has a much better longevity uh, compared to the vein that is removed from the leg and used for bypassing the coronary arteries. So this is in a nutshell what coronary artery bypass surgery means, what is a single bypass, what are double, triple and quadruple bypasses and how the heart is maintained during surgery. In future videos, we'll talk more about uh, different techniques that are used to open up the arteries uh, other than heart surgery. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope uh, this has been educational to you. And if you would like to learn more about uh, any other cardiac problems, uh, please leave comments below so we can produce uh, uh, similar type of educational materials. Uh, and I am Dr. Nick Nickham and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have more than 800 videos accenting our experience. Uh, and also we have a Facebook page which is a Triple N Media and please do subscribe to our Facebook page. And until next time, I am Dr. Nick Nickham for Triple N Media. Thank you so much.